In the year 1497, amidst a flurry of samurai diapers and diaper-changing chaos, a pint-sized bundle of joy named Motonari Mori entered the world. Born into the illustrious Mori clan, rulers of the Chugoku region, he was destined to be the 15th lord of the Mori dynasty, a title that carried both power and the never-ending challenge of finding the perfect diaper fit. Fast forward to 1521, where tragedy struck our hero's nursery. His father, the reigning lord of the Mori clan, met his unfortunate demise. Leaving Motonari to face a new role, that of the diaper-changing mastermind. With a solemn expression and a diaper-changing kit clutched tightly in his tiny hands, he took up the mantle of leadership. Determined to bring harmony to both his clan and his diaper. Now, let's zoom in on 1551, a time when Movenary's diaper-changing skills were put to the ultimate test. The notorious Nikki clan dared to challenge the Mori supremacy, but they clearly underestimated the power of a lord with a well-fitted diaper. Movenary donned his samurai diaper armor and led his forces into battle, proving that even the most menacing opponents could be defeated with a swift diaper flick and a well-timed baby giggle. With victory in his wake, Motonari set his sights on establishing a stronghold befitting a diaper-wielding lord. In 1555, the majestic Yamaguchi castle rose from the diaper-changing chaos, becoming the hardened fortress of the Mori dynasty. From its lofty ramparts, Motonari could survey his domain and make important diaper-related decisions. Like which brand offered the most absorbency for his samurai on the go. The year 1557 marked a pivotal moment in Motonari's diaper-clad career. With the support of the 13th shogun of the Ashikaga shogunate, Yoshiaki Ashikaga, he faced his arch-nemesis, the Nikki clan in the climactic battle of Itsukashima. The battleground trembled with the weight of thousands of diapers and echoed with the cries of battle. Motonari emerged triumphant, proving that a well-chosen diaper ally could make all the difference. In 1568, the diaper winds of destiny blew Motonari towards a fateful encounter with the charismatic Oda Nobunaga, the rising star of the diaper-clad warlords. A request for aid from the diaper-changing mastermind himself, Nobunaga, propelled Motonari into the realm of alliances and political diaper games. As his diaper sagged with responsibility, Motonari embraced his role as Nobunaga's trusted comrade in the quest for regional harmony and a fresh supply of diapers for all. But the winds of fate shifted once more in 1577 when Motonari embarked on a grand adventure to conquer Kyushu. Armed with a diaper-changing sword and a formidable army, he set his sights on the powerful Auchi clan, rulers of Bungo province. The clash of diapers reverberated across the land as Motonari's forces decimated the enemy, leaving them in awe of his diaper-changing prowess. His victory was so impressive that even the most obstinate diaper rash surrendered willingly. However, tragedy struck in 1582 with the untimely demise of Oda Nobunaga. The land was thrown into chaos, and the cunning Toyotomi Hideyoshi emerged as the new diaper-wearing overlord. With ambitions of unifying Japan, Motonari, ever the pragmatic diaper strategist, saw no choice but to bow to Hideyoshi's diaper-clad might and pledge his unwavering loyalty, a decision that left him with mixed emotions and a sagging diaper of resignation. Yet, Hideyoshi had a surprising diaper-shaped gift in store for our hero. In 1585, Motonari was bestowed with the province of Nagato in Yamaguchi, a land ripe with opportunities for diaper-based adventures. His lordship expanded to a whopping 10,000 diapers worth of territory, cementing his status as a full-fledged diaper-wearing lord with a flair for both diaper changes and diaper-based economics. The year 1598 brought forth a new chapter in Motonari's diaper-fueled saga. In accordance with Hideyoshi's final wishes, 
Our valiant hero was tasked with the guardianship of the Western lands and the diaper-clad future of the Toyotomi clan. Like a seasoned diaper warrior, Motonari accepted the responsibility with a solemn nod and a renewed commitment to ensuring the smooth transition of diapers and power. Alas, the fateful year 1600 arrived, bringing with it the legendary Battle of Sekigahara. Motonari, true to his unwavering diaper loyalties, joined the Western forces in a clash against the mighty Tokugawa Ieyasu. The battlefield quivered under the weight of thousands of diapered warriors, each vying for dominance. But destiny had a different diaper changing plan in store. The Western forces were defeated leaving Motonari's diaper slightly askew, and his hopes of a diaper-filled victory dashed. Undeterred by the diaper-changing setbacks, Motonari faced the year 1601 with resilience and a determined diapered spirit. He was stripped of his lands and left with naught but the loyal companionship of his family. Together, they embarked on an epic adventure through the treacherous wilderness, surviving on wit determination, and a small stash of emergency diapers. In the darkest of times, the true character of a diapered hero shines through. Then, like a ray of sunshine breaking through stormy clouds, the year 1603 brought a much-needed change in fortune. The mighty Tokugawa Sogonate rose to power, and Motonari, with his diaper-clad reputation preceding him, was graciously granted new lands and titles. The Lord of Yamaguchi was reborn, his diapers freshly changed, ready to shape his domain with renewed vigor. But alas! Every diapered hero's tale must come to an end. In the year 1606, fate dealt Motonari a cruel blow. Stricken by illness, he found himself confined within the walls of Yamaguchi Castle his once bustling diaper-changing headquarters. As his diaper sagged with the weight of his legacy, Motonari Mori, the diaper-clad samurai who defied expectations, bid farewell to the world, leaving a trail of freshly changed diapers in his wake. And so, dear readers, we close the chapter on the extraordinary tale of Motonari Mori Jubei, he diapered warrior who defied the odds conquered enemies, and shaped history with each well-timed diaper change. His legacy reminds us that even the humblest of diapers can carry the weight of greatness. And that true power lies not in the samurai sword, but in the determination and resilience of a diapered spirit.